Hey Jeff and all the Supernatural fans out there that's watching these videos on how to build a 67 Impala. Uh, today's update, uh, we've gotten far or you know a little bit down, more down the road than where we were last week. Didn't get as far as we wanted uh, for some reasons which I'll go into. First off you're looking at new blower motor all in installed. And then right here new heater core. We finally got the correct one in and it has now been all reinstalled. So we're going to come back over here to this side and I'll kind of show you all the box and stuff. It's all back reinstalled and everything. Um, I'm going to let you guys know that when you're doing this, um, when you get another car from somebody that's had one and they've fucked with it, I guarantee you just open a world of headaches. And when that's Something like what we just did here on this heater core. At one point, somebody had changed one out. And when they do stuff, they just don't put it back right. And so now we're trying to figure out stuff on how to put it back right and using what parts that we have that they left. Because as many of you know, it's out there, it's redoing one of these cars. Or if you're thinking about redoing it, they don't make this shit hardly anymore. So trying to find the original parts is really tough. So anyway, it's all been back reinstalled and uh, so that is done now we're going to come over here to the hole there in the firewall if you look right there there's the power booster uh, master cylinders over here on the bench we uh, wanted to hook this up and we could we could hook up the master cylinder and power booster okay but the reason why we didn't down here we're going to come in there see that brake line right there and there's one over here there's three brake lines that go into this, this junction box, okay? And we've had to take one off. Um, the problem that we're running into, this, let me come back around here so you guys can get a little bit better look at what I'm talking about. Okay. This line right here is runs to your back brakes, okay? This one here, and I'm pointing at, runs over to the right side of the car. And then there's another one that was on a bracket. It came up over here that ran to the left side of the front. Okay, that back brake junction right here, or this fitting that's coming off this brake line, goes into this junction block. Now, we've I've removed the junction block, but our problem is that this here is a different size than the hole in the back of the junction block. So when we did Stephanie's car, we just got a bushing, which meant it screwed into that, and then the bushing screwed into uh, the junction block, basically like an adapter. Well, today we go down to the same place that we got Stephanie's, and they're like, oh, we don't have those. And so now I'm going to have to do some scrambling around and trying to figure out what, you know, who makes this damn thing. And, you know, of course, the damn, in the company that we bought the brake from, not one piece of literature on how to install anything. So... Jeff, I'll be uh, emailing you, calling you, and we'll get that company. I'm going to have to call them and get some stuff worked out. But anyway, that's where we're sitting at right now. We can't install, we don't want to install the power booster and master cylinder up here right now because we want the room down here to work. So we, we'll, when we get this all fixed up down here, then we'll install this, which will be no problem. And then it'll be motor and tranny back into the car. So as of right now, that's where we're sitting with the car as it sets right now. You know, there's always something when you're doing these cars, you will run into headache after headache after headache. And a lot of time it's sitting down trying to figure stuff out. I guarantee you, when you buy stuff, it'll say for a 67 Impala, I think you're buying it for a 60 Ford, Ford Granada. Uh, you have to customize, you have to alter to make things fit. And, you know, here we go again with the brake system. So, you just will always, always run into problems. Uh, and this is just one of the problems that we've run into this weekend. So, now we're going to be at a standstill until I can figure out how to get the um, junction block attached to the brake lines. Uh, what we do have over here, I'll show you. There's your new battery tray all installed. Um, for those of you that have rusted out battery trays and stuff, guys, spend the 25 bucks and put that thing in. 
uh, it's, it's fairly simple to put in. It fits right in, so it just makes your life a lot better, you know. So that's been done. Uh, I'm trying to think, was there anything else really done to the car? Uh, my dad this weekend uh, did install the new freeze plugs on the back of the block here and stuff. So there's one over there and there's one back in there. Um, so all the all the freeze plugs now are done with the block. Um, we're getting it ready to install, but we're going to do the brake system first. So anyway, there's your video, Jeff. Um, I'll be calling you this week, talking to you, and see where we're going to go from here, okay? Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and talk to you later. Bye.